Hey, what's up YouTube? It's iPhone Time. Today I'm very excited to bring you guys this video. Earlier this morning, the Evasion team just released the new untethered jailbreak for iOS 6. Now this does work for all devices capable of running iOS 6.0, 6.0.1, 6.0.2, and 6.1. I do want to remind you if you have not updated to iOS 6 and you want to use the evasion tool to jailbreak that you must do it through iTunes. Now if you've already updated through the air go ahead and plug your device into iTunes and hit restore before proceeding. Now the website that you're going to go to looks like this here on the screen. It is www.evasion.com. Now remember that the O is a zero in evasion and it will bring you to this website here. Now just a quick side note guys, if you scroll down the screen just a little bit, you'll see this FAQ section right here. If you take a look, there's a little green contribute button. Now please do not hesitate to click on that and contribute to the evasion team. I don't even think we can comprehend the amount of hours that have gone into this untethered jailbreak. And if you weren't aware, these guys do work off of uh, donations. So we want to keep them motivated and we want to keep great untethered jailbreaks coming. So please guys, please uh, get on there and contribute whatever you can. They've helped you guys out a ton so you guys can help them. I know I'm going to be contributing myself. The next step guys is go ahead and run that software program on your computer and then we're going to tether our device to the computer. Once it recognizes, you'll see the jailbreak button right there to the right. Go ahead and click that button and it will reboot your device. Now you will notice that throughout this process your phone, not a lot happens on your phone, it will reboot several times, that's normal. Uh, so just go ahead and set your device down, you don't need to touch it until it prompts you later on. Okay, so the next thing that it tells us to do, see retrieving information from the device to generate jailbreak data, then it's going to inject stage one jailbreak data. This goes by fairly quickly. Uh, waiting for device to reboot. Again, it reminds us do not touch. And then once it's rebooted, it will get the device ready to start loading Cydia onto it. Okay, so here, uploading Cydia. Then it's going to upload Cydia packet list. And last but not least, it tells us that we are completed. Uh, what we need to do now to finish this is go ahead and unlock our device and we will see a jailbreak icon with the evasion logo right here so go ahead and click that and only click it one time now it will reboot and this may take a minute or so so just be patient guys once it reboots it's going to give us this evasion logo and a white screen as it sets up city on our device so we'll give this just a moment setting up city of packets and then it will reboot one more time all right, now that my device is rebooted, you will see Cydia right up here at the top. We'll go ahead and click it, and you can see that I do have a fully functional untethered jailbreak on my device. Now, most of the programs on Cydia have been updated to work with iOS 6.0, 6.0.1, and 6.1. However, some may not be up to date yet. Give it a little bit of time. Usually within a few days, everybody is updated, so everything is compatible with uh, 6.0, 6.0.1, and 6.1. Also, uh, they have been updating the uh, programs to be functional on the iPhone 5 with the different size screen. So it's very exciting, guys. As you can see, 6.0.1, I am fully untethered. I'm very excited about this. Please, guys, don't forget to go and contribute to the Evasion team. Thank you so much, Evasion team, for everything that you've done for us. Keep up the good work. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps me out a ton. Have a wonderful day, guys. Thank you so much.